Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're doing the ECMW F46 Day Stash. Six weeks we'll get for today's second video. So, yes, we're going to go through being sea level pressure, 500 mm of our height, temperature, and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks, focusing on the UK and Ireland. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that first, the video is there as our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also got weekend forecasts coming up for you as well as a 10 to 14 day. So, epic day of content today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's have a look then. Now, thank you so much um, to ECM.IT for supplying the charts, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's have a look then at the week one mean sea level pressure. And by the way, we're going to go to the 19th of February. So we're coming towards winter's end with, <laughs> with these extended look heads uh, now. Um, but anyway, uh, week one will be the 8th to the 15th of January. And the high and dry, high pressure is dominating weather over and to the north of the country. Uh, well, that should bring a lot of uh, dry weather with it. It will be cold, though, with uh, winds coming in from an easterly direction. Look at the low pressure of the Atlantic. has been blocked and diverted down into that direction. Well, well, 500 millibar high zone from the Arctic. And North Palview Down has a blocking area of high pressure to the north and low pressure being forced southwards along projection, projection down here somewhere. And again, we're bringing cold air from the north and from the northeast. Now, check out the temperature doubly. Most parts of Europe plunged into a freezer. And for once, we're included in that as well. We're significantly below average temperatures. Uh, anomaly is there. Three to six degrees below normal. Goodness gracious. And as far as me, and as I have to take concern, well, the high pressure of the cold air it is also driving average. But remember, when we're completely dry, and uh, if we were to pick up some precipitation, same in the form of uh, showers up and all thing, then uh, we might see a little bit of wintry weather as well. But basically, high pressure keeps it uh, dry and cold next week. Right, we're off and running. Week two will be the 15th, 22nd of January. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? High pressure uh, goes into retrograde. Goes into... <laughs> Retrogression. Um, I can't roll my eyes. If only I could. Um, <laughs> it's like, isn't it? But I, I just can't. I'd never be able to do that. My mum could do that ever so well. Mrs. P. You know, like she could, she could do right petite. <laughs> How do you do it? I don't know. Rink petite and and like when Roy Orbison uh, in Pretty Woman, she could do all of that, uh, but I've never been able to. <laughs> anyway, back to this. I'm so sorry for you. on a tangent. Um, right. What was I saying? So yes, I pressing goes to Greenland and Iceland in week two, fifteenth, twenty second of January. Low pressure gets closer. This looks like it could be very wintry week, I have to say. Wind will be coming in still from a cold north northeasterly direction, and the low pressure south could provide the energy to bring some storm. That could be particularly towards southern regions. Goodness gracious, how exciting. Um, 500 millibar heights. Again, look at that blocking area of high pressure. Focus on Greenland there. Uh, low pressure across the northwest of Europe again should bring wind in to a cold northeasterly. I would have thought temperature is are colder than average through most of northern Europe. We are again included in that. Um, oh, like one three degrees below average, that should be sufficient to produce wintry conditions if there's precipitation. And um, the model is forecasting drier than average weather away to the northwest, but wetter than average down to our southwest. Notice it's like towards the east coast, a little bit wet through there, around the IOC coast as well, slightly above average precipitation. Just suggesting there might be some precipitation in the mix there. Um, that uh, could fall as snow. Oh. Interesting, isn't it? Um, what an exciting January we might be in for. Right, we're week three. It will be the 22nd, 29th of January. Oh, 
Oh, well, that looks a little bit like things are wobbling slightly. Well, uh, we have got high pressure centre towards Scandinavia, so that's a plus. But with low, lower pressure in here and a ridge going through there, we're probably going to be getting wind into like a southerly or a southeasterly there. So maybe going a bit milder there for uh, week three. 500 millibar heights looks like that. Still a lot of high pressure to, to the north, generally. Um, but with lower pressure down here, I reckon we might be bringing it in from like a southerly southeast direction. Expect to boost in temperature. Let's see. So it's still actually a little bit on the cool side, to be honest. Not as cold, obviously, but still average just slightly below our temperature. But the core of the cold is retreating back towards eastern Europe and northwestern parts of Russia there. And um, uh, to precipitation. Not much of a signal. Driving average, we've got high pressure to the north, east, west, and average to the south or west. That's a strange week that we've got going on there. Week four will be the 29th of January, 5th of February. Let's have a look. Oh, well, high pressure goes back to Greenland and Iceland again. So if it does moderate a little bit late in January, looks like we're back in business as we get into early February, with potentially the wind going back into the east or the northeast uh, there once more. 500 millibar heights, yes, very blocked, blocking in the North Atlantic and uh, heading up towards Greenland as well. Should bring the wind in from a cold east or a northeasterly direction. The temperature anomaly, bit inconclusive, but looks cold, really, for most parts of Northern Europe. I reckon we could well be included in that ultimately. And precipitation, dry of an average to the north and wet of an average down to the south. Seth. Okay, <laughs> we five. Will be the 5th to the 12th of February. Here we go. Uh, still with high pressure away to our uh, north northwest. So there's lots of blocking signals here with the CC uh, 46 update uh, today. Winds again coming in, or should be coming in from the northeast. So it should still be pretty cold there. I would have thought 500 millibar heights again with the above average heights in the Atlantic. Around that, winds coming in from uh, the northeast. A temperature anomaly, a bit inconclusive, but much of northern Europe is looking quite cold. And as far as precipitation is concerned, week five, uh, largely on the drier side. And then lastly, week six will be the 12th to 19th of February. So we look. And again, we still see a bit of a blocking signal. Obviously, the signal is weakening the further out we go. It's not as strongly signaled as like week one, week two. But the blocking is still there or thereabouts in the North Atlantic and going up to Greenland as well. The 500 millibar heights again showing that blocking signal ongoing. The temperature anomaly still suggesting that normally Europe anyway it looks quite cold. And lastly, precipitation looks like that. So, if anything, it's like on the drier side. Okay, we're done. And very interesting update from the uh, AC46 there again today. So, it looks like we could put my collar up. Looks like we got, <laughs> looks like we could be, could, 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 could be in for quite a cold six weeks of it with plenty of blocking. Uh, coming and going. There will be wintry possibilities with that, of course. Frost, ice, fog, and maybe at times some snow as well. Could all be wintry hazards to consider in the next six weeks for the UK and for Ireland as well. Is this the one? Is this winter the one? Haven't had a you know genuinely cold winter since uh, 2012, 2013. Like we did have 2017, 18, 20, 20, 20. 21 to some degree, but is this it? Is this one after a very wet and mild December? Are we going into the freeze after the after the <laughs> after the floods? Do we get the freeze? Maybe, maybe, maybe we shall see. Okay, if you enjoy the video, remember just a snapshot of what's been on the show, so could look completely different when we look at it again on Tuesday for the wider European outlook or next Saturday for the UK Island Focus uh, video. Um, if you enjoy the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and sure doing that. We're going to be back a little bit later on with the weekend forecast, and then there'll be potential 14 there as well with all our break features. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this one, that's all for now, and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.